Did you just Google Spanish phenotype? Is that how you found this video? Well, here's what inspired me to make this video. I had made another video called, I'm an American who's never met a Spanish person from Spain. And Sarah P commented on that and she said, quote, when I type Spanish phenotype into Google, your video, my heritage, what does a Spanish person look like versus Italian, comes up as the first video, no joke. So I thought, whoa, I've got a responsibility here now. People are finding my channel because Spanish phenotype, which I've never put in the title, comes up. So I'm gonna do my best to give people what they want when they Google Spanish phenotype. So look, my understanding of it is, as far as these DNA tests go, there are certain ways that they can kind of predict and figure out what people, if they have roots in DNA in, in Iberia, Spain and Portugal, what that person should look like, okay? So phenotype is, is almost, the dumbed down version is almost like saying it's a way to predict your genes, where they originally came from, what part of the world, okay? So for example, I took my test through MyHeritage, okay? So on my test, and, it, and things get a little bit confusing here, and some people might say, well, it's because the test isn't reliable. And I'm not here to say that any test really is completely reliable. I would never say that. Considering that my mother is, grew up as half Italian American and then the other half being of Mexican descent, you would be surprised how much of my DNA is Spanish because she's, to what we know if she's not Spanish on her dad's side, though she did have, from what we've learned from the test, the Italian side was Sephardic Jewish instead. On her test, I show no Jewish on mine, okay? But here's what I'm getting at. So for me, 31.8% of me is Iberian, according to my heritage. So a third, almost, almost a third of me is Iberian translated as Spanish, modern day Spanish, Portuguese. So, my, so as far as if you wanna see someone with, who has a Spanish phenotype, you're looking at a guy who about a third of me is gonna be that Spanish phenotype, which ultimately kinda of gets lumped in there with anyone who's Portuguese as well. I know that's, and then you're like, well, how could a th nearly a third of you be that way if your mom, if half of her heritage is Mexican, then how does that end up being? Of course, you know, that's one of the things that makes these videos fascinating as we take all these DNA tests. What I've seen with both of my parents, even if they take the same brand, I, I have more Iberian than my mom does. And my dad is not Iberian. If he is, it might be like maybe 1% or something. So it's interesting. And, and, and my theory is that when you take a DNA test, what it, in theory, it measures the prominent features of those phenotypes. So in theory, you're looking at a guy, let me give the exact number again, you're looking at a guy who is, uh, you know, 31.8, uh, 31.8% 31 Iberian. That's the exact number. You're looking at a guy whose phenotypes are 31.8% Spanish. You look at somebody else's video, they may have less and they may look less Spanish, which is, Ultimately ironic because I, as an American, have never once met anyone who's actually from Spain, of Spanish, you know, a Spanish person from Spain. I've never met anyone. So I don't even really, I'm constantly confused on what a Spanish person even looks like. So imagine the ultimate irony that someone would Google Spanish phenotype, find my video, here's a guy who's about a third full of Spanish phenotypes and is telling everybody, but I don't even know what a Spanish person is supposed to look like. And you're watching this video to find out, only to learn, here he is, he's about a third full of Spanish phenotypes and he still doesn't know what a Spanish person looks like. So, this is the best I can do as far as giving you an answer on what Spanish phenotype is supposed to be about. It's a way of predicting one's ethnic background through a DNA test like, like my heritage, like I took. And it showed that I'm actually more Spanish, Iberian, uh, that I have a higher amount of Spanish phenotypes than my, than my mother does, even though my dad is not Spanish. We've done multiple tests with everybody in my family. So there you go. Spanish phenotype, 31.8% full of Spanish phenotypes right here.